In the race to its historic date with the FIFA World Cup, Qatar passed another milestone on Friday. As the countdown clock ticked past the 500-day mark, it was a time to take stock and an opportunity to look ahead for the organizers. Uh, well, with 500 days to go means that we're getting very close to the tournament. It's, uh, it's been 10 years in the making uh, and uh, this is the biggest event in the Middle East and the biggest event that has ever happened in the Middle East. It brings the world together, it brings the Arab world together. It's a moment of pride in the history of this part of the world and uh, as we move closer to the tournament, uh, we're sure that the excitement is going to keep building even further. Ever since Qatar won the bid in 2010, the country has turned all its focus and energy on preparing for the event that is almost at the doorstep now. The results are there for all to see. Since 2011, we've been working hard on the delivery of infrastructure, um, sport infrastructure, that mainly being the stadiums, the training sites. We're in a very good place. Uh, we're about 95% complete. Uh, if we look at the metro, we look at the roads network, the highways, uh, the airport expansion, uh, we're in a very, very good place and we'll be ready in time for the World Cup. So all the stadiums will be ready before the end of the year, which gives us a whole year to be testing uh, all the stadiums. Our focus now has moved on to operational readiness. We've hosted many tournaments and we've hosted uh, many uh, exhibition matches, which is all in building capacity. It's all about building uh, um, operational readiness and testing all our plans. Enhancing Qatar's confidence is the pace and progress of its preparations. With an important test event coming at the end of the year, that is indeed heartening. By the end of the year, all our stadiums will be ready. We have five that have been completed so far, three of them that will be ready by the end of the year, and six of our stadiums will be used for the FIFA Arab Cup that will take place from the 30th of November until the 18th of December. The compact nature of the World Cup will be a boon, not just to the fans, but to the players as well. The compact nature of uh, the FIFA World Cup in Qatar uh, is probably the uh, most uh, positive attribute of this World Cup for all involved, whether it be the players, whether it be the fans. So traditionally in World Cups, players would travel from city to city, which meant that they had, they had to check into new hotels, they had to take flights, and that would take time away from uh, two things. Training, it would take time away from them being able to relax and enjoy their time. For fans, they also don't have to follow their team from city to city, which means that there's a significant cost saving. And it also means that they have more time to enjoy the city, um, uh, take in the experience, and enjoy what uh, Qatar has to offer. The FIFA Arab Cup in November and December will show Qatar's readiness to a wider world. It's an important event for us. It's an event that brings together the Arab world in such an important uh, tournament. It's the first FIFA Arab Cup uh, in the history, so it's, uh, it's under the FIFA umbrella of uh, events. And for us, it's going to be a, a great opportunity to make sure that we test the teams, we test um, the new stadiums, and also to prepare ourselves for the FIFA World Cup in 2020.